Hey there, chat. How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ruin. I run the place. Did you miss me? I bet you missed me. Welcome back to Tales of Zestiria. We are underneath the city. We just took a look at some ruins and had a lovely time there. Uh, we got this ladder down, so we were able to go all the way around it. Uh, we came down, walked all the way to the end here, saw a a statue where uh, where our uh, Lavenza used to uh, meet with everybody uh, for the past shepherds and whatnot. And so now we're taking Lila and going back outside, and we're gonna see what we can see. We need to find Miklio still. He's somewhere around here, just not sure where. Shoo! Finally! So, what are your plans now? Hmm, I doubt he's at the inn. Oh, Miklio? But he said he would wait for us back at the inn when he left. So, the ruins below spread out all over the place, right? If that's the case, I'll bet Miklio went off to search for <laughs> another entrance. One I see. This one. Huh? You mean Miklio went into the ruins alone? How dangerous, how downright reckless of him. The Hellions here are spreading like wildfire. You just saw firsthand what a force they are to be reckoned with. How can you be so calm when your friend is in peril like this? He'll be fine. I know he's not the type to let his guard down when he's faced with real danger. And mm. I'm sure he knows full well that he has no ability to purify the Hellions all by himself. Mm. Don't worry. <laughs> you really do have the utmost faith in him, don't you? Well, it's a love-hate sort of thing. <laughs> I see. So Miklio has a sort of rivalry going on with you, and thus he went alone to search for the ruins rather than return to the inn. But you're sure he wouldn't do anything dangerous by himself. So then, what are your plans now, Saray? Man, you sure have a mean streak, you know that? Oh, do I? But anyways, first I have to return this to Alicia. Oh, the knife you used to open the door. We found this at Boy, the it's having a hard time, uh... <laughs> it's it having a hard time rendering those two family. together. I'm sure it's very important. Before I begin my duty as a shepherd, I feel like I should return it. Indeed. Lila, you had something else to tell me, right? I think those were animated About separately. What it is to be the shepherd. I'd like to hear the rest of what you had to say. Like they aren't interacting with each other. Uh, it's true, I do. And by that I mean his hand and his knife. But first, to that same end, there are things I would like to ask Alicia as well. Perfect. Let's head over to her manor then. We might find Miklio as well. Oh, yeah. He'll probably give up and wander back any time now. <laughs> now that would be perfect. Hmm. Boy, I knew you had a mean streak. <laughs> They're probably going to spread some rumors about us now and being like, Oh my goodness, this new shepherd is just a, a nutcase. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, let's see, is there anything down here? Oh, that guy's gone. Hmm. Shoo ba dee doo. Shoo ba dee doo. Bow. Where are all the workers? No, oh, is that them over there? Oh, hey! So you made it out okay? You really saved my butt back there. Thanks so much. Oh, nah. It was nothing, really. We owe you our thanks as well. When this guy went missing, we thought he'd just up and gone home already. Whoa now, hang on a second. Aren't you the shepherd? That outfit fits the description in all Oh my goodness, there's me. actually somebody here who Whoa. knows about the shepherd outfit in the uh, town all about the shepherd. For real? This is the guy that pulled the sword? <laughs> I figured you were something special, but this is more than I even bargained for. Gotta thank you proper for saving me. Wanna get some grub later? <laughs> To think I'd become buds with the great shepherd himself. My wife and kid are gonna scream the roof off when they hear this. Well, well we aren't uh, buds yet. I don't know if... <laughs> Things must be tough, but hang in there. We'll be cheering you on. Ah, uh, he'll be all right. He's the one who removed us. Great. 
See you soon, Shepard. They certainly were a lively bunch. Yes. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Everyone back home in Alicia is a little more relaxed. You spent your whole life in the village of the Seraphim, right? With no other humans around for miles. Until I met Alicia. Yep. I see. Okay. Goodness gracious. Now, between episodes, chat, there was so many new skills and menus that we had to bring up last episode. Goodness gracious, it was just too much to read. And so, I'm gonna have to spend some time going through all of those. And seeing what they all mean. Do we have a Mikleo here? Doesn't look like Mikleo's here. Figured. He's both as solid and stubborn as a rock. Let's go. Hmm. You really do know him well, don't you? Coming? Right away. Huh. Oh. She made like an origami leaf. That's what it looked like anyway. Hmm. I don't think he's going to have anything new. And thankfully, these people don't have anything new to say. Yep. Having a hard time with the bridge. Here we go. Alright, into the Noble District. Alright, let's go... to the house... of our fair lady. Our fair lady Alicia. Oh. We'll do everything we can, but I'm afraid we cannot guarantee a recovery. I'm sorry. It's quite all right. I very much appreciate your diligence. And you? Do you consider yourself prepared? Yes. I shall do everything within my power that I can. Your distinctive personality is a point I greatly admire as your teacher, but I am aware that it also tends to drive the chancellors up the wall. Don't push yourself too hard. I'll let you know if anything happens. Yes. Oh, Saray. Oh, uh, hello there. Should I come back later? Not at all. I was just leaving. Oh, you're... I thank you for your help at the festival, Shepard Saray. I am Maltran. Still want to know. Okay. preceptor and advisor to the Royal Army of the Kingdom Maltran. of Highland. Please do all you can to help Alicia. She could use the support of a good friend. Yes, of course. The dress is so weird how it doesn't exist in the front and it's just so floofy in the back. Maltrin. Basically matron, but a letter off. Wow. I wonder if I that means say, anything. She's totally got it together. I know, right? My dream is to be as cool as her. Let's walk while we chat. Hmm. Ah, oh, yeah. You were investigating the ruins, correct? Well, yes, that's true. Yep. We did investigate the ruins. So what now? Okay. I see. All right. For you. Talk to us. My knife. Did you find this at the ruins near Alicia? Yeah, I figured it was yours. This is an important item that's been handed down in my family for generations. I thought I'd never see it again. Thank you so much. Um, I do apologize, Whoa. but may we get down to the matter at hand? Lady Lila, forgive me. Oh. Wait, did you just... I could hear her. I definitely heard Lila's voice. Well, this is quite a surprise. Hello? Uh. I see. So it won't be that easy just yet. Lila? Yes, because she was I'll holding her hand. Things, but first, take her hand again. 
Lila says she'll explain. Such hand holding, much lewd. Can you give me your hand again. Sure. Hello, Alicia. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can. Loud and clear. I haven't even held my breath yet. At this point, you've grown much more accustomed to my power, to the extent that you can now do what you did before. Boy, we're doing this all so quickly. I don't feel any different, though. That's good news. It means you don't have to go through all that hassle anymore to make her voice carry. <laughs> it was fun in a way, but good riddance. <clears throat> all right. Very well, then. Shall we begin? All right. Lila needed to talk with you about something. With me? I would ask that you lend us your power, so that we may find the vessels and the lords of the land. May I ask what those might be? To explain fully, I shall need to tell you how this world we live in is structured. In the ancient times, the Seraphim and humans worked together in order to protect their land from the malevolence. The Seraphim and humans worked together? If the vessel they dwelled in was pure of heart and harbored no malevolence, those Seraphim with power would become lords of the land. And through worship by the people, they gained the ability to expand the area of the Blessed Domain, which repels the influence of the malevolence. Okay. The sanctuaries were built to honor the lords of the land and keep the area around the sanctuary safe from malevolence. So this explains the shepherd's sword and, and the lady of the lake. This town has neither a lord of the land nor a vessel, let alone anyone who will properly pray to them. Is that why there's so much bad stuff going down around here? Yes, even if the shepherd purifies the malevolence, it will be impossible to maintain the land's protection without the blessings of the lord of the land. I see. So you wanted to ask Alicia for help in finding a suitable vessel for the lord of the land? And should they be found, if those of the sanctuary would properly worship them both, is that correct? Precisely. Any idea? Interesting. As for the sanctuary... I'm afraid almost all of the pious ones in my country have lost their sense of gratitude towards the Seraphim. No way. However, there is a man named Brunor who has recently ascended to the priesthood. He is a good, sincere man who gave his time to help us prepare for the festival. Would he help? Yes, I believe so. Time is of the essence. I'll head for the sanctuary at once. Okay. Well, that was abrupt. But she's not wrong either. We must hurry. I think she's leaving breadcrumbs for Miklio. Those are probably notes saying where to find us. Lavenza's pretty sweet. And I, I do know that her name is Lila. She's gone already. She's probably heading over to the sanctuary. She's quite the tomboy, that Alicia. Mm hmm. She's very sweet. I like her a lot. Oh, man, we're probably just about done the prologue here, guys. Well, no, we are done the prologue, to be honest. Because uh, that was when we got the intro. So I guess we are in Chapter 1. But it just really doesn't feel like the story has started yet. All right, into the... Any more herbs? Herb, herb, herb. Herb, 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 herb. Herb is the word. It looks like Father Brunor is out around town on an errand. Hmm. So it goes. Any clue as to the vessel, at least? Let's see. Something free of malevolence. It's Alicia. In the Galahad ruins north of here, there's a pure and clean waterfall. The kings of Highland traditionally bathe in its pristine holy water before their coronation ceremonies. Water of utmost purity. That does sound like something that could be a vessel for a seraph. Mm. Is something wrong? Beasts have taken up residence in the ruins of late. Whatever was there was strong enough to kill all ten soldiers who came to drive them out. Hellions? Goodness. Likely. If we don't hurry, then the waterfall could be corrupted by the malevolence. I take it that's not all, is it? The malevolence is strong in Lady Lake. The holy water will absorb its influence before we have a chance to enshrine and worship it. Water in particular is delicate and easily corrupted by malevolence. No way. Is there anything we can do? Of course there is. But in that case, we will need the cooperation of a Seraph of Water. That's Miklio. I'm afraid I am wholly mismatched. 
Oh, that's so true. Why is the Lady of the Lake a uh, fire wielder? By the way, whatever became of Miklio? I haven't heard his voice yet. We sort of had a fight. It's a long story. Anyway, to the Galahad ruins. There's Hellions to smack. That's true. Let's do what we can first and foremost. Saray, please let me accompany you. I would, but you don't have the power to battle Hellions. But... Saray, just as the Prime Lord can have Sublords, so too can there be Squires to the Shepherd. Hmm. If Alicia becomes your Squire, she can fight against the Hellions as long as she is within your domain. My Squire? <laughs> there are so many rules I'm not going to be able to keep track of. This sanctuary. No, make that all of the sanctuaries in Highland. They have always been like this from the time I was born. A Highland overrun with malevolence is the only Highland I've ever known. I beg of you, Saray. Please, take me as your squire. So that I may see my homeland free of malevolence. Just like you'd always dreamed of. As you wish, Alicia. <laughs> so then, how does this work? After my incantation, give unto Alicia a true name in the ancient tongue. Let's see, a true name for Alicia. Now can Alicia a feel that? Forms on the holy branch, its flowers bring fruit, its fruit begets seeds, the circle of destiny turns once more. Give life unto the will of the shepherd, and let it be proof of their bond. Thy true name as a squire shall be... Melphis Amechia! Huh. Happy to be your squire, Saray. Happy to have one, Alicia. And she's leaving another note. There you are. Yeah, she's telling them where they're going next. Uh, okay. Hi, Alicia. So now you're actually part of the party, and I can give you a Seraph, too, because you have the uh, powers now. How do I change your title? Uh, attack plus four. SE reduction during combo. Uh, stun rate plus ten for three seconds at battle start. Mm, stun rate plus 20% against enemies with... Let's see. Damage reduced 30% when enemies are 25% less. HP. Okay. Yeah, so you get 30% less damage when they have 25% HP. Mm, time you can't use items is reduced by 15%. And stun rate is high against enemies with max HP. Hmm... Um, Proof of having made the commitment to battle by the shepherd's side. One who must face a truth she was hitherto unable to see. Mm, so here's a couple of them. It improves her defense. I like that. Let's see if there's anything she needs at the store. But I think after this we need to go to that waterfall. Because I don't see anything else that we should do right now. Let's try sleeping at the inn. And then, uh... And then going to the, sh the, the shop here. Forgot what the word for shop was. I was going to say the, the st star store. Because I was mixing up shop and store. Uh, by resting in an inn, you fully recover your HP and SC. While in an inn, you can choose to eat a meal, after which a set number of battles, you will be able to earn bonuses by fulfilling certain conditions in battle. Bonuses will vary based on the meal. Okay. Mmm. Potatoes soak up the juices and warm from, you know, from the inside. When your party's HP is below 80%, restore 15% of HP. That's awesome. When someone's HP is below to 80%, restore 10% of HP. Now let's eat this. Phew! It's 
nice to get a break. Yes, but still. Is something the matter? Not really. I'm just amazed all over again that Seraphim really truly exist. Talking to you like this, it's like a dream come true. Alicia grew up reading the Celestial Record like me. She always wanted to meet a Seraph. I too am glad that we are able to talk like this. And I suppose that means that Saray's family was actually there that whole time. That whole time? I was searching for the Origin Village in the past when I stumbled across Saray's hometown. Mm hmm. He graciously introduced me to his family, but at the time I thought he was just being peculiar. I fear I may have been rude. I see. So you were looking for the Origin Village? Don't worry about it. Everyone there is super nice. That means a lot to me. Thank you. I hope I can meet Miklio soon as well. Yeah. Me too. Oh man, there is skits when you go to the There is skits when you go to the inn, which means I need to go to the inn more often. So I can make sure I see all these skits. Uh let's do a new save. See. Ooh, amber sword. Okay. Uh try on goods. Let's try on the amber sword. What does this do? So, okay. Okay. Wow, that is good. That is good. I don't get the HP recovery thing. Mm -hmm. And there's a fire ring. Battle boots. Okay. So let's buy some stuff. Ooh, these are all so expensive. She's already got the Amber Tiara. Mm-hmm. Sell items. What can I sell? Let's see. Heal everyone 500 HP. Wow, I... That's a lot. Mm-hmm. I already have an Amber Sword. Oh, goodness. I almost bought something I didn't need. Uh... I don't think we need to worry about stacking these tiaras. Yeah, let's, let's forget this. Let me actually equip the things I need to equip. An Amber Sword. Uh, I could buy another one and fuse them. And that would be pretty good, probably. Mm hmm. Ancient earrings plus one. Amber earrings. Amber earrings give me more defense and five less magic. Mm hmm. Effect of paralysis reduced. HP recovery during combo. That's great. Duration of stat reductions is minus eight. Block and chain. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the amber stuff is better. That's what I've got on already. Fire rings on these rascals. Uh, get rid of uh, more non-elemental damage. Successful stun. Okay. I don't know what the target is for. I need to figure out what that target stat is about. Uh...
Yeah, I don't know what would be the point of uh, taking these off necessarily. Mm hmm. Forge spear. Do I have anything better for her? There we go. Amber ribbon tie. Notably more defense. Notably more defense. Four less of whatever the other thing is. Amber garment is less defense. And I, I need to remember what those different stats are. I'll take a look in just a minute. Uh. Oh, more of them. Uh, let's see. After three combos, press and hold RT to consume one BG and restore 50 SC. Sure. Let's see. Right. Okay, there we go. Defense, art, defense, and focus. Uh, let's see. I forget what focus does. What does focus do? Alright. I should see, okay, let's see if we got a better spear then. Amber ribbon tie. Okay, you've only got an amber sword to sell as far as that goes. Uh, why is this better than what I've got? I thought I already put on the amber ribbon tie. Mm hmm. Ah, we can fuse these. Hmm. Defense 45. Oh. Yeah, we should probably fuse these. Let's see. Yeah, that'll make the defense 51. Okay. So natural waistcoat plus one. I wonder what happens if we max out the stars on this. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we've unequipped the battle garment from Alicia. And we'll just put the amber garment on her. Uh, there is no Tempish. Uh, okay, so I'd be losing the HP recovery in exchange for BG increase 10... For when 10 hits land. Okay. Mm Although I don't stun very often. So we should be fine. There we go. Hmm. Why is it so much? Oh! 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 This one has two stars. This one has none. I think that the stars, the more you use them, the easier it is to fuse later. So if I wear these and get their stars up, it'll cost me less. Okay. Let's equip. We need to equip Alicia. There we go. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. Okay. What now, brown cow? Alright. Uh, they just had a little bit of searching around there. 
and figuring out what all these different things are for. Uh, just, you know, getting the stats and everything worked out. Those will happen quicker later. Hopefully. So, I think that... What is the bridge that is out? What is the problem here? We're supposed to be going to a waterfall, I think. Is it this one right here? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Because the enemies over here were not too bad to fight. So it would imply that we're supposed to go here soon. Or even next. Hmm. Nope. I hope it didn't tell me where to go and I just already forgotten. Curses. While armatized and idle, perform rejuvenation. Okay. Oh, I'm not doing any damage because it wants me to do that thing. So I need to armatize. Okay. To be prepared is to be protected. I concur. Okay. I get it. During amortization, while you're idle or otherwise not performing a combo, you can press RT to cast rejuvenation at the cost of one blast gauge. I need to figure out where the blast gauge is. Uh, I think it's those little circles on the bottom, right next to our name. Uh, this takes only about one second to cast, and it re results in exceptional healing making it useful for emergencies and non-emergencies alike. Armatization can benefit everyone, not just you and your partner. Okay. So that was a fight where we could not do the normal fight. We had to actually do the thing that they wanted us to do before we could actually hurt the enemies. Uh-huh. What's over here? Oh, you know what? Not this. Uh, where is our map? We should look at these as well. Remedy preparation. Uh, re uh, recreate previously discovered gels and bottles. Ah! Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is there any stars around here? I don't see any. There's that bridge that's out. Hi. Curses. Uh, during a three hit combo to perform a Banish Blast. One, two, now. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. There we go. I think I did it. Because I'm able to damage them now. But I don't know what it was. Everyone okay? I take that as a yes. Uh-huh. Okay, hold down RT in the middle of a combo to unleash a Banish Blast at the cost of one Blast Gauge. Performance varies by the Seraph, and because it requires charging, it can be risky, but you can combo off it. Status effects from any arts following a Banish Blast are two times as likely to occur. Hmm. The lower the enemy's HP, the higher the damage. Okay. Alright. Tried to hit these guys with my sword, but I'm not being very successful. Oh. I'm counting on 
Tiger Blade! Strike! Yeah. Come on, everyone! Wake up! You're gone! Strike! Celebrate that! Yeah. There we go. Good stun. <laughs> We're just magicking this raccoon thing to death. Uh-huh. Grade is awarded after each level. Earning grade will increase the blessing level, eventually awarding you further boons. Hmm. Interesting. I finished preparing the gel. Eagles attack Ready? while retreating. Right. So it's best to aim right after it attacks. There we go. This will do it. Purification complete. Yeah. Uh, some martial arts have a chance of boosting your stats just by using them. Which stats are affected tends to be determined by the art's element. For instance, the art Tiger Blade being a non-elemental will raise your attack. It's good to study the relationship between elements and stats. Cool. So we finished this apple gel. Ooh, enemies. Chop. I am ready. There. Oh my goodness, what on earth happened to this poor thing? <laughs> uh, prepare consumables. You can only create items that you've already found at least once. Good. That works. Let's get this. Chocolate gelato. It's like an octopus thingy. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Strike. Yep. He's not weak to the heavenly torrent. That's a thing. This is a hellion. You okay? Sorry, I'm fine. Hmm. Okay, so the other ones are just beasts, and that's why we got this special scene, I assume. Because this one was special. Ah. And you know what? Now I know what's special about touching these things. It's it's not that you did anything special, but once you do that, then they appear on the map. That's huge. Curses. Weapons ready. Ready? Oh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that takes so long to charge. Oh, 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 I didn't... I, I get it. I get it. I, I know what I did wrong. Uh, you can change difficulty settings. Okay. I don't feel like I need to change them. I'm not in a bad situation. So here's the bridge that is destroyed. So we can't get up there. Um... So how do I find this waterfall, and where do I find Miklio? I feel like I'm going the wrong direction, to be honest. There we go. Mmm, yeah. Ow. Everyone okay? There we go. Yeah, I don't see much reason to not use super mode. Um, unless maybe I just uh, am not paying attention to what it's costing me to do it. And there's some herbs. 
Amber Spear, I'll take it. Sage. Alicia. Quit, there we go. Forge Spear, Amber Spear. A little less focus, but more of everything else, so that's good. Hi. Don't do that to me. There, you missed. He's started to fade away just as it touched me. Hi. More sage. We're currently patrolling the Ray, the Ray Flake area. Citizens who wander too close to the mountain have been known to go missing. Stay away from it, understand? Uh, I can't, uh... Can't walk over there. I wonder if the save points will become, uh... I wonder if the save points will become... Fast travel points. Because it would have been sweet to be able to touch that save point. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like we win. That was a really great combo there. I you know what I do need to figure out? I need to figure out how we uh, increase the blast gauge. Okay, so we went over here, we went over here, we did everything we can on these sides. Hi, bird. How do I uh, use my fire again? I can't remember how to use my uh, overworld fire. Because I wanted to attack him with the flames instead of uh, just my sword. There we go. None of you stand a chance. Yes, they are. I think we've already got this monolith as well. But maybe not. Is that a monolith? Oh, uh, it's new. Uh, by hitting a stunned enemy with your initial martial art, you can increase your blast gauge one time only. If you stun an enemy in the middle of an attack, then cease the attack before restarting it with a martial art, you gain an increase in blast gauge. Uh, ha ha ha. Okay. That's very interesting. Hmm. So, heading into Lake Haven Heights, we need to find out where Miklio is gone because he's being all grouchy and I don't know where he is. I need to get my Seraph back. Sneak snack paddywhack. I need to get my Seraph back. Mm hmm. Where would he have gone? Where would he have gone? Let's see. Here's this guy here. Say now, it's true that the uh, Grifflet Bridge went and collapsed? How could such a bridge fall so easily? We must have done something to anger the Water Spirit. Uh... I'm looking forward to accompanying us, Alicia. It's a pleasure, Saray. I promise not to be a burden on our your mission. The entrance to the Galahad Ruins is northwest of Lady Lake, along the river that runs down the, from the forest. From Lady Lake, if we head northwest over the bridge, and then circle around the west to the higher ground, past the village of Ky Kylefi and the Great Morgan Falls, we ought to find it. It's close to the highest part of Lake Haven Heights, so it will be a bit of a trek. Let us be cautious. Okay. That makes a lot of difference. So, this way... And then this way, it looks like. I think. Gather holy water. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I forgot. I forgot. We have a task in here. We need to go and look for... Uh, search for Father Brenor. Gather holy water from the waterfall of Galahad Ruins. Uh... So where is this Father Banuar? How do I look at my quests?
uh, discovery points. I missed two? I missed two of them. The Highland Goat, and then I missed two things, and then Beautiful Butterfly. Nuts. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Skills. Okay, here's all the different skills. I'll read those later. The enemies. Unknown and unknown. The snick. Marmot. Cool. Okay, stormy encounter. Uh to do to do to do to do. Okay. Uh takes residence in a vessel. Then protection will be granted to the surrounding area. Wanting her homeland to be free. Mm, blue shadow follows them behind them too. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Now, this is the different battle systems. All right. I wish I could view the quests. I wish I could view the quests. Chat, if there is a way for me to view the quests and I'm just not paying attention to it, please tell me. Because I'd like to look at those stars and actually see if I'm able to look for this old man right now. Uh, let's see. Northeast, village of Clyphe. Great Morgan Falls. Galahad Ruins. Okay. There's the village. What if I come up this way, actually? And look at that other thing that was on the way. So, we're gonna run for a little bit. There's more Snek. Hello, Snek. What is my fire button? Controls. Uh, reset camera. I remember what it was. That was it. There we go. Let's do this. I will smite evil. Get up. Let's get him. Oh, that was effective. There we go. Okay. You were quite strong, but we're no pushovers either. When the going gets tough, sometimes in the future we will likely encounter enemies that seem far too tough to defeat. You may need to level up the battle against such enemies, but it's equally useful to review the knowledge you have gained up till now. You may already hold the key to defeating these formidable foes. That told me nothing. Why would you do something that tells me nothing? Mm hmm. Hi, Wolfie. Yep, I couldn't fight you. There we go. Yeah, I need to figure out how to increase my blast gauge. There we go. Well, one thing is, is that... Oh! Nuts. 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 I made the wrong choice, chat. I made the wrong choice. We should have followed Alicia's instructions. I wonder if there's something about this game and the way it's rendering everything and stuff like that that is making me tired. Because I'm tired again, chat. I mean, maybe it's just that I'm not getting enough sleep or something like that. But it feels like when I play Zestiria, I get tired. Well, you finished an apple gel? Yay, yay. Hi. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Everyone 
okay? Yeah. Equipment proficiency is increasing all over the place. And we're getting these items from these guys, so we're going to be able to fuse a lot of items together. I should look up what equipment proficiency does. But again, I don't want to spend all of our time here in the menus. I don't think that would be good content. Hiya! Yeah, now you stay still for a little bit. There we go. You were quite strong, but we're we no pushovers either. Killed most of them before they even got the chance to try. They never stood a chance. Hmm, the village is gone. Let's begin the purification. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. There we go. Man, that did so much damage. Saray, your right side was wide open. Really? I need more practice. Yeah. Where's that uh, sign? There it is. Uh, Great Morgan Falls, the Galahad Ruins is to the west. Lady Lake is southwest. North is Clyphe. Now here's areas of the map that I haven't been to. Mm, haven't been to. Yes, treasure. Give me your treasure. Sunglasses. Oops, I was awesome again. Deal with it. That's awesome. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kill this dog. I am your opponent, Hellion. There we go. Yeah. Experience leads to confidence. Who's next? Excellent. More equipment uh, proficiency, and then battle actions. No arts. So I now have heavenly torrent as a movement, and. Let's do Shatterfang as left A. Left A and right A. Mm hmm. So, what's in this city here? Hmm. It looks like it's just broken. There's nothing here. Hmm. Well, I'm guessing that this place is going to matter later, but it just doesn't matter yet. And apparently it mattered in the past because something big happened here. Can't go through any of the doors, though. It's funny, the buildings seem off. Like, they're not the right size. That door doesn't feel big enough. Especially not for a double door. You know, if, you, if your double door needs both doors to be open for someone to fit through, you, you haven't done it right. Ooh, I enjoyed that music transition. That was pretty good, actually. Let's see. I'm trying to scrape the edges here to see if I find any more sage and thyme and all that jazz. And there's a chest. Amber boots. Excellent. I have enough, I think, now to, uh, to stack them. Man, 
There is so much involvement in this game. And I want to be a part of all of it. There's a monolith as well. Touch. Ooh, new enemy. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Okay. There are five skills per group arranged with the following correlations. Attack is non-elemental paralysis. Fire and burn, earth and slow, water and poison, wind and fatigue. Uh, hmm. Okay. I don't know what my, uh, my, uh, surge attack is. Just made a life bottle. Uh... Heavenly Torrent. Show Shadowfang is Earth. And Heavenly Torrent looks like wind, I think? Hold on. E oh, no, water. Okay, so Heavenly Torrent. Uh, yeah, okay. Fluid Surge, it does make a lot of sense that it's water. I turned the draw distance all the way up on this thing so I could see those guys from further away. I can walk in here. Cool. This is definitely not going to haunt me. Hum. Okay, I'm gonna need a thing that's gonna let me go there. Yeah, those question marks, I've seen them before, and they're just like, Hey, you need a thing, but you also don't even have enough knowledge to know that you need the thing, so just stare. Hi. You're still really low FPS. Chop. Nope. Is this truly a Hellion? Oh, he resists that one. Whoa! He hit hard! He hit really, really hard! Nuts! And I don't think I saved after I went that way. Dag nabbit. Yeah, I don't remember when I saved there. But that guy... Hit hard. I should have saved. I should have saved, chat. I didn't save. Ugh. There was a save slot right there. Let's do this. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. I should have been. Purification complete. Battle boots. Yep. I wonder what the key I already hold to defeating that formidable foe is. Because I bet you it was referencing that guy that I fought right there and just got wrecked. Oh man, I touched those save points and didn't use any of them. I'm so stupid, chat. I'm so stupid. Should have used those save points. After I, uh, after we close the episode, uh, I'll run, well, maybe not the episode, but between episodes when I, uh, am over there again, I will, I will go back and make sure I didn't miss any chests, uh, by losing that save. Because we did get some chests, and I like to get chests early. There we go. is what I expect of the Seraphim's power. Mm. Good. Oh. I can't, uh, I can't follow that star. How do I change which star I'm chasing, I wonder? Victory shall be mine! Yeah! Ready? Well done. Hiya. There we go. Splendid job, Saray. 
Let's keep it up. Yay. I don't know what causes those interactions, by the way, but I'd love to know. I'd love to hear about it. Mm-hmm. Got it. There we go. All is done here. There we go. There we go. So let's go ahead and touch the save point. And let's just save over the one that we've done most recently. Yay, apple gel. Hiya. How close do you have to be? Lovely. That was well done. Now over here, there was nothing in the town, of course. But then right over here, I believe, up on this hill, is a treasure chest. Got this. Amber boots. Amber boots. Burn the snake. <laughs> yeah, the snakes have no strength. No strength on them snakes. All right, let's try this again. New save. Yes. I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue. Yep. Now, we've just saved. Let's try dealing with this guy. He does look like a toughie. Um, and I should try using my blast darts against him. Oh, I touched him. Oh, we stacked up some good hits there. Wow! He kills so fast. I don't even know how much damage he was taking there. Uh, as far as, like, I, I didn't get a chance to look at his health bar. Check that monolith out yet. Okay. Uh. Yeah, this is where we just were. Alright, so. Now we don't have to worry about checking the monolith again. I want to see if I can burn him. And I'm going to try and pay attention to his health bar this time. Nope. All right. Oh, he's resistant to fire? Dag nabbit. Oh, I can't die. Oh. 
here. Yes, I can. Ah, uh, man. And he has lost almost no health. Okay, this is like an end game guy. This is like one of those roaming super bosses, it looks like. Because he lost almost no health. He had like almost all of his health still. Achop. Very well. I just want to finish these guys off. The ruins are calling me. Okay. Let's get this. Uh, let's put it back. Let's do this. Items. Apple gel. It's not much, but it'll do. Um... Here, let's go ahead and get this. We should use more items between battles so that way I can actually collect the items I find. Run around this monster. It's an absolute beast. He looks like a behemoth from Final Fantasy. There we go. Can you, uh... Everyone okay? There we go. A good equipment proficiency boost from everyone. Let me look at your equipment. Uh, level 3 with that sword. Level 3, level 4 with this waistcoat. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think we'll find out pretty soon what happens if you get full proficiency on some equipment. And so, I'm excited to see that. Still want to fight that demon. But I can't. I'm just not strong enough. Goodness gracious. Okay, I see what's going on. Over here. Snack. There we go. He's okay, because he's so low to the ground, he's really hard to hit with the sword. There we go. I wonder what happens if I get Miklio back and I put him on me and then I use my super mode if I'll become super mode water. That would be cool. Mm, touch. Okay. There's the waterfall here. I think somewhere over there is where that rock is. Yeah, there it is. So we're not able to pass because there's this rock here. Uh, so I guess we go into the ruins underground here? But no, we don't. Oh, yes we do. <laughs> it was a door. And the nice thing about the fire is it lasts a little longer. Uh, stop running, you. Gotcha. Splendid job, Saray. Let's keep it up. I finished preparing the bottles. Uh, wisdom, weakness combos during armatization differ from those in normal state. Regardless of their number of chained hits, the damage multiplier will continue until the damage gauge under the total damage runs out. 
Also, damage increases each time a different art of the same element is used. Thus, armatizing with weaknesses in mind, plus using a variety of arts, will lead to devastating levels of damage potential. Huh. And my points of interest detection leveled up. If I, if I noticed that correctly. Yeah, points of interest detection proficiency leveled up again. Raise level to extended range. Set on multiple characters to extend range. Hmm. Raise level to increase recovery. Okay. Interesting. Oh, the other way is a dead end, so I want to go there first. Hey, Snick. You got a monolith behind you, and I want it. Awesome. My will shall pierce thee just like this spear. Hmm. Uh, various techniques from the battle section of the system book, you can discover new, unconventional interactions between them. It can't hurt to go back and read up on subjects you've not mastered in case it triggers a new realization. Some monoliths will also give you tips on advanced techniques. Is that a monolith? Like this one? Wisdom pertaining to battles written in an ancient tongue. Targeting shows you various information, category, uh, weakness, increased damage, resistance, halved by, or, or greatly reduced, stats boost, inflicted ailments. If the enemy is successfully defending against your attacks, use this to check whether, um, uh, yeah, whether you're accidentally using one they're resistant to. Well, it also makes the numbers pop up that say resist, resist. Okay. So that's fallen. Burn. Uh, mango sorbet. I'll take it. I will take that ice cream that I found preserved in a treasure chest in the middle of a dank ruin. That definitely will not cause any problems for me in the future. All right. Oh, man, I would pay money. Oops, sorry. I would pay money to have a faster dash right now. Okay. Ooh, what a hit. Let us relish this victory and sally forth. Such an absolutely obliterating hit that last one was. I think we wiped out an entire enemy with one smack. Which begs the question, do you carry that stack that you are making? So like if you're comboing and you go from 1 to 25 to 130 and some odd, if you kill that enemy and attack the next one, I wonder what happens. A bow. It looks like it's just ceremonial. This bow is a divine artifact. A what? Oh, right. Hold on. So if this bow is a divine artifact, what does that mean? A divine artifact determines the form the Armatus will take. Essentially, it serves as a model for the Armatus. Huh. A model for the Armatus? Oh, yeah. Fascinating. Like sacred blade. The sacred blade of Lady Lake is also a divine artifact. Huh. And that's why your Armatus is a sword. Hey... Does this mean that I can use your sacred blade to armatize with other seraphim as well? Well, that depends on the circumstances. First, as I mentioned earlier, just as I am the Prime Lord of you, the Shepherd, they would have to become my Sublord in turn. What exactly is a Sublord? Put simply, hmm. it is the title for one who assists Saray while working under the influence of my power. <sighs> Consider the elemental property of the Divine Artifact. 
Each seraph has their own unique element that falls under their control. Mine, for instance, is fire. So if the divine artifacts all have their own elements, does that mean a seraph can't armatize with it if their element is different? Indeed it does. It would appear this bow's element is water. And Miklio is a water seraph. Let's go! Huh? Saray does not wish to make Miklio his sublord. Why not? It's no different than when I was made a squire. But you called on the Shepherd's power in order to achieve your dream. Isn't that right? Miklio is different. Have you asked him? And gotten a straightforward answer? About what Miklio wishes to do? Because you're going to die. And then Miklio can go on with his life if he wants something different. And I saw that. Mm. Grumpy Ruin is grumpy. People are being dumb. When they should just be straightforward with each other. Uh, there's the exit. And another exit. Nets. Alright, let's go this way first. Because there's a couple dead ends here. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm holding on to all these because I need to figure out if there's a way to make them even stronger. In, uh, Z in Symphonia, you're able to add a, uh, a rune bottle to them and it makes them better. Gotcha. I bet you will be able to get Miklio's water uh, attacks uh, once we make him an armament with us. There we go. Gotcha. My will shall pierce thee just like this spear. Ooh, we all leveled up. But Miklio is not with us, so he's not leveling up. I actually I, I need to get through the story enough to get Miklio because curses. Mm-hmm. Ah, dead end all the way around. Oh well. Let's get some stuff here. But yeah, I want Miklio in the party because I wanted to start leveling up. Goodbye, snack. I don't have a key that fits that. I am your opponent, Hellion. Ready? Let's get him. Let's do it. I must jump off. Hit him hard and fast. Turn away. Be careful. Go for Release my spirit. <laughs> Your right side was wide open. Really? I need more practice. Yes, you do. Well, I do, I guess. Burn. So I'll probably get an Earth Seraph that uh, will help me move those rocks as well. I think I could open both of these. Earth Ring. Uh, Amber Garment. Gilliam. Stun time reduced by 20%. Recovery on defeating an enemy. SC recovery when damage received plus 8. Sure. Hmm. And then yours is just more defense. Though your art defense is already sky high, so you did need more defense to balance you out. So that's fine. Oh, that startled me. Guess we can't hit them by flailing our weapons. Yeah, they're really short. Leads to confidence. Who's next? Hmm. Didn't even see that little slug guy. Scared the dickens out of me. All right, back up the stairs we go. Let's go down the other side. Running along. Oh, there he is. 
There he goes. Missed him. He doesn't have any resistances or weaknesses. Oh, I should have done that. I should... Okay. When we leave here, I'm going to save the game, and then I'm going to fight that guy, and I'm going to look at his health. So this is the power of purification. My powers aren't much, but I try. <laughs> so, that tells us a lot, actually. Let's run down here, because I don't remember walking down this path. Okay. <laughs> There's another one. Come on down. There he goes. There we go. This fire seems to get them. Looks like we win. Very effective. Very, very effective. Very powerful. I like the armament. It's cool. And even though it's I, I even though it, it may be kind of repetitive or whatever, it feels good to use. And I like that. There we go. I didn't even see that snake. Yep. Good victory. Good victory had by all. Some more ceiling crawlers. Alright. Here we go. Keeping an eye out. There's one leech up there. A snake down here. Uh, let's see. Apparently directly in front of me is a door. Can I go through it? I can. Ooh, there was a lot of pomp and circumstance to that door. What's going on in here? Uh, open. Hmm. All right, we're fine for now. We really don't need help with recovery. We're doing really good. There we go. No. Cut. Splendid job, Saray. Let's keep it up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me do the arts menu real quick because I forgot. That I didn't do this. That was before I blew everything up by walking right into a super boss. There he goes. Burn. Oh. Why is it dangerous? Huh. That extra little damage there, is that because of the poison effect and they're weak to it or something? There we go. Let's burn these guys. Gotcha. Are calling me. I forgot what's the thing that revitalizes us. But there is a thing. Mm hmm. Something I'm supposed to be able to do in armament mode that uh, restores all of our. Or not. Maybe not all, but restores our health. Save point. I'll take it. 
And I'll save there in just a moment, but first I'm gonna see if there's a... Yep. There is a thing here. Alright. Let's save. Let's see what's down this hall. Careful! Yes. What? W where? Up. Above! I can see it. Don't. It's poisonous. Stop! <sighs> Lila, get back! Okay. That was Mioma! Oh, they're probably going to be resistant to fire. Ouch. Um, we're almost killed them. We've almost killed them. And then you're gonna say this? There's still so many of them. Dang. Miklio! You couldn't have timed that bet. Sure. Lila, let me become your sublord. Are you sure about this? Wait, hold on now! You're right. I am stubborn as a rock. Huh? I admit it. I'm hellbent on becoming a sublord. But there's something important that you don't understand. I do understand. I just didn't want you to get involved. Get over yourself. <sighs> do you really think this is your dream alone? Saray, do as Miklio says. You can hear him too? This is our dream. Now, Lila! Very well. Oh, ye born of the sacred current of peace. Nicleo! Lila! Here let our path be forged, that my unquavering incandescence may be as thy purification. Shouldst thou accept this burden, recite, allow your etc. Etc. <laughs> He already knows. You bet I do. Oh my! Here we go, Mikleo. Let's end this. Give it your all. Ooh, new animation. Saray. All right. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Look at that. This does feel good. Uh, giant crustacean. Their weakness is water. They're resistant to fire and earth. Uh, uh, weak to physical. That's not what I need. Yeah. Oh, I can't even see. It's just madness. Let me free run real quick. Gotcha. Wow, that was amazing, you two. I'm gonna need to look up how that all works. Oh, were you? Because right now I'm just slamming buttons. Now that you mention it, it just came off. I wonder why. Does it? Does it really matter? Besides, this means that I can now use the Armatus at will, right? Lost those training wheels. Look at you. Shut up. Makes sense. So, that's why you couldn't take it off before. Nicleo, I wanted to say... Don't thank me. After all, I merely did this for my own dream. Hmm. I know that. <laughs> I feel oddly envious. Agreed. <laughs> Alicia, don't tell <laughs> Those me. Those two goobers. Yes. 
Not only can I hear your voice, I can see you now. No way! You can see Seraphim now? I think it just goes to show how strong you've already gotten. Yep. Dead Sir A. <laughs> Maybe we do have a fighting chance against this Lord of Calamity. Sir A. Lila. Miklio. Please accept my sincerest gratitude for saving me. It was nothing, I assure you. But you're welcome. I thought we weren't supposed to be thanking you. Guess there's no need to worry. <laughs> All right, the waterfall is just up ahead. When Seraphim, when Shepard's ready, the power of purification for battle. Seraphim too can access this power if they have a human to channel it through. When Saray is the sole human in the party, only one Seraph may join him in battle. But if a human squire joins him, an additional Seraph may also join. When armatized, press LB again to cancel armatization. Ah, uh, I see. Ooh hoo 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 hoo. Got like eight grade for not using items there. That's awesome. Okay. Let's see. Not this. Uh, level 11. Okay, everyone's level 11. Miklio leveled up to meet us. That's great, actually. I appreciate that a lot. Alright, let's go this way. We probably got a boss to beat up at the end there. Yay, remedy prep. Oh, I also want to see the support talent. Oh, is proficiency 9? Yeah. Uh, seven, nine, ten, fourteen, yeah. Let's burn ya. Woohoo! I think we just wiped out those bats. Looks like we win. Uh, treasure detection. With this talent, you can detect treasure chests and herbs in the nearby vicinity. Multiple characters to increase the size of the detection field. Okay. Yeah, we knew that. I can sense the ancient. Oh, it's still way too far what? away to be able to see those. Uh, first enemy you defeat in a battle will have two times the chance of dropping items. If you seek a certain piece of equipment, use the command focus attacks to target enemies that drop that item. Oh. Oh, that's awesome. I understand. Yeah, and I really want to increase the range on the... That's Look at that. Amber circlet. By the way, what are you equipped with, buddy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, what I've got is better. Okay, so I'm currently, and it's funny because it looks like that was a harp. That is such a great thing. I'm just tickled pink. Okay. Bat. Burn. Gotcha. Well done. Gotcha. Such is what I expect of the Seraphim's power. Yeah. All right. Which means right now, yeah, we've got Lila on Alicia. That's great. Saray, look around you. Devil wings. Uh, best not wear them too long. It's okay. So it's another attachment. It's something I can put on my body. Let's look at them real quick. <laughs> Sunglasses. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, but that would just... That would, uh... That would mess with me too much. Oh my. No. Huh. Ooh, this is not even attached.
Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cute. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing we can wear there. How do, ma'am? We're nearly to the waterfall. Yes, not much further now. Tell me, why is that? Why is it that Lila thinks Miklio's power will be the key? What do you think he must do? He's got to become the Lord of the Land. Mm, we got new one of these. Blast charge. Uh, defend for 1.5 more or more seconds and BG increases. Awesome. I'll take it. Uh, can evade arts rapid attacks even when front stepping. However, SC consumption. That works. I'll take all of them. Because I can. Alright. Let's get you out of the hat though because... I'm a bit too much of a realist, and that's gonna mess with me. I don't- I don't get the same joy out of everything being stupid during serious scenes. I will after I- after I've played this game once or twice. I'm- I'm certain I will like the different costumes once I've played it. But for right now, I want that more pure experience. Hey, Mikleo, do you think you can freeze this water? Huh? Yeah, don't see why not. Then freeze it, and let us bring it back to the sanctuary. Ice is highly resistant to being corrupted by malevolence. Interesting. Very well. I'll give it a try. Thank you very much. That should suffice. Now, before this melts, we'd better take care of our other problem. I forgot to take off her hat hair. Nani? Lila, what was that? The Earth in Historia. It finally reacted to something. Hmm. So that was something real from the past. Did you see that, Miklio? He was writing the Celestial Record. Yeah, that must have been the author. There are more Earth in Historia where this came from. If we obtain them, surely we can obtain more information about the past. Oh man, this is too sweet! This is only the beginning. Don't get so worked up, or you'll just wear yourself out. Right. Whoa, see <laughs> He's burning up. This is the result of the pact we made with Miklio. He'll get better after some rest at the inn. I'll carry him back. If we want to cool him down, I guess I better make some more ice. Hmm. Yes! Let's save the game data. His fever has gone down. I'm surprised it only took him one day to recover. It took three when he forged the pact with me. He's definitely got natural ability as a shepherd. Miklio. Oh, thanks for helping with the letters, by the way. I caught up with everyone I needed to. It's okay. I rather enjoy writing letters. <sighs> Are you awake? I... I must have fainted again. Sorry. You gave me quite a backache. <laughs> you looked like you were floating. I told the innkeeper you were just doing some sort of magic trick. <laughs> well, I never was any good at lying anyways. Don't overexert yourself. You still need to rest. I'll be fine. We gotta find the Lord of the Land and someone to pray at the sanctuary before the ice melts. Uh, but... The Shepherd has spoken. Is it not the duty of the Prime Lord, Sub-Lord, and Squire to follow him? Hmm. All right. Let's fix your hair, young lady. Because, <laughs> oopsie doodle. I forgot to change that. 
There we go. You look so weird with your bangs just cut off. Let's actually... Uh, when someone's HP is below 60, restore 30 HP. I have 5,000 gold almost. Woo. Being able to fuse equipment at the shop is really convenient to help prep for battle. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's amazing how even among humans, there are those who can extract the full potential of certain equipment like the divine artifact. Plus, it looks like we can fuse unneeded equipment together to breathe new use into them. I have some experience with this sort of thing as well, although it may take time to get used to it again. Wow! Will I be able to do it someday? For those that don't possess the required innate qualities, I've heard that it feels like their nerve cells are getting sliced from the back of their heads. Oh. <laughs> that was cool. All right. Let's do a new save. Oh, goodness. <laughs> We're almost an hour and a half into this, so I probably should go ahead and wrap up. Um, man, that was cool. Uh, I, I'm having a fun time. I know that this game takes a long time, and as we go along, I'm probably going to have to start cutting out more and more, which means we're going to need longer and longer recording sessions. Uh, so we'll do that in the future, because I know, like, last episode, we got very little done. That was partially just because I was so tired. I was so tired. It was, like, midnight already when I started, and I had so much to do. But, uh, I think in the future we'll cut out a lot of the battles and, uh, get to a lot of the stuff more quickly and shortly. Um, but all that stuff gonna, is just gonna have to be stuff that I have to figure out as I go, because... I don't quite know what I'm doing yet with these kinds of games. But we'll take care of that. Not today, but soon. Thank you all so very, very much for watching. I hope you had a lovely time. If I'd like you to leave me a comment, a like, a subscribe, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts. If there's stuff that I passed, if there's treasure chests that I didn't get, let me know, because I do want to go back and get them. I don't want to miss them. I don't want to miss them. You know, always let me know. Hey, between episodes. Uh, yeah, that would be a thing. Between episodes, there's this thing you missed and this thing you missed and this thing you missed. And I'll run and I'll pick them up. And, uh, and then, you know, I'll be able to do the different stuff and not eat up all of your time on backtracking. Ah, uh, I like this game. It's pretty. I like these characters. I don't know any character that I don't like yet. I mentioned before that I wasn't too hot to trot on La Venza for a little while. Um, cause her, her, you know, oh no, I don't know what I'm doing is a little silly sometimes. But she's really started to grow on me. And so I am once again in the place where I don't know any of these characters that I don't like. I, I like, I like our main character. He's pretty great. I like Mikleo. He's, he's pretty great. I, uh, I really like Alicia. She's just precious and wonderful and to be protected. And, uh, I enjoy this. So, I'll see you all in the not-too-distant future. I know you're gonna miss me, but try not to miss me too much, okay? Bye!